Bloodborne takes inspiration from a lot of concepts from the real world. One most interesting is the research hall methodology in exploring the cosmos. We note that the knowledge they had in their time was insufficient, and their investigation bear little to no results at all. However, the way they endure their research, it's worth exploring. The contact with the cosmos can be related to the actual attempt of contacting extraterrestrial life in our world. SETI, which stands for Search for Extraterrestrial Life Initiative, is a program in which their goal is to discover alien life in the universe by monitoring electromagnetic radiation. Of course, the investigators in the game did not have the technology to reproduce this, but the principles and techniques were mimetized and included there by the developers. Let's then start by looking closely at the Astro Clock Tower. It's of course based on a real astronomical clock, a term that is used vaguely when we are referring to any clock with the capability of disposing astronomical information. This includes the location of the Sun and the Moon in the sky, the age and the lunar phases, the position of the Sun, rotating star maps and much more. And this of course goes very well with the thematic of the research hall. We could say that the research hall investigators were actually tracking a physical map of the cosmos and its constellations in their search of contact with the Great One. But wait! There's more! If you actually look up when you are not getting your arse kicked by Maria, you can see that the clock tower is filled with giant bells. And bells play a fulcral role in the game and they are used in the basis features like co-op. And of course the first bells were discovered in the labyrinths, the beckoning bell and the small resonant bell. Great old bell discovered in the underground labyrinth. Its ring resonates across worlds and the first hunter used it as a special signal to call hunters. And this property, the resonance of sound, was what awakened the researchers' interest. The chore bell description states, fashioned after a bell that projects an arcane sound across planes of existence. The sound of this smaller silver version of the bell does not cross planes, blah 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 blah. This bell was designed after a bigger bell, capable of emitting such a powerful sound that projected itself across planes of existence. And what bell was this? The bells in the Astro Clock Tower, of course. So you can now see the line of investigation that they took. By using the clock tower, they would directly pinpoint a location in space, followed by a sound message, the bell ring, that would portray an arcane sound through the planes of existence trying to reach someone, or in this case something, capable of understanding it and answering back. And who would be there to receive the answer? The would-to-be celestial emissaries. They would be the interpreters of this response and the ones to establish a gateway that would bring the desired Great One to the waking world. Pretty much like the gateways that they establish with the cosmos when they are fighting with us. And of course, a parallel can be established with the SETI program, except instead of using electromagnetic radiation, they would use the bell ring to convoy the message, hoping something would pick it up. And that was enough lore hunting for the day. Hope you folks like this kind of format, sometimes lore can get a little bit overwhelming, so I decided to try something new and different and a little bit more fresh to present the lore of Bloodborne. Let me know if you liked it and if there are any other topics that you would like to see in future videos. And if you want me to cover something of other game like Dark Souls, I don't know, I can give it a try too. I have some ideas in my mind, but I'm open to suggestions. So yeah, you guys let me know. Cheers.